Okay. So I said that an information system is uh, a, a combination of software and hardware and um, networks that allow you to do something, and the something usually is managing information. Let's talk about it, the, the one that we'll spend the most time in this class on, and that's web information systems. Web information systems at the top level consist of three big parts. There's browsers, servers, and the internet that connects the two. Browser is a piece of software, it's an application that runs on your computer that allows you to access the internet. You know that. What you may not have known before is that it's a piece of software. It's an application and it runs locally, it runs on your hard drive. The software, uh, the server on the other hand, is also a piece of software but it runs on someone else's computer. The point of the browser is to display information and make requests against servers. The point of the server, as the name implies, is to serve information, to serve you what you're asking for. The browser asks and the server responds. And the internet, of course, is what's in between those two. It connects the browser and the server and allows information to transfer between the two of them. So let's go around the, the page request circle quickly to, to, to go one level deeper into what a web information uh, system does. The browser makes a page request. You click on something, a link, a button, you fill in something, a form, whatever, you do, you do some action in your browser that creates a page request and sends it through the internet to the server. Now a page request could be really simple, it could be just say show me this one web page or it could be really complicated. It could say compute my taxes from the last 15 years and um, tell me how much I, I overpaid. Right? That might be a huge long calculation and I still made a request for that against the server. So the server processes the request. And processing the request depends on how complicated it is. If it was a simple request of just give me this next page, then it's going to be a simple process. If it's a complicated request like process my taxes for the last 15 years, it may engage in a tremendous amount of software to process that request. At any rate, some amount of software process, some, some amount of processing happens, and the result is the next page. The next page may be, uh, or the server creates the next page to show you in your browser. It may sometimes create a part of the page, most of the times it creates the whole page, but at any rate, the server creates a new page or a new page part and sends it again through the internet back to your browser. And the browser then displays that page and gives you some more abilities. So can you see how it's a circle? The browser makes a request, the server serves that request, serves another page. On the page that you get served are all sorts of other things that you can do. You do something else that makes another request to the server, server processes it, creates a new page, sends it back to the browser round and round and round until you decide to go to a different server or you know turn off your browser. Um, the browser can do some processing of, on its own and in fact over time the browsers, browsers have started to do more and more processing but generally the heavy lifting processing, the processing that really counts is done on the server and the kind of processing that's done on the browser by and large is things like um, produce this fancy widget like uh, run a flash program for example on my screen or give me a navigation that expands and collapses or do some fancy layout on the page. Those are the sorts of processing that happens on the browser most of the processing, most of the heavy processing happens on the server. Uh, let's see what else I want to tell you. Uh, that's it. Okay, now I think we're finally done.